So, before 2009, we did a wellness plan. Uh, the wellness team got together and we sat in a little room with our business director and I believe we looked at somebody else's plan. We tweaked it a little bit and said, that's good. They were all put in blue notebooks. Every teacher got one. And they went, oh, I'm not doing that. Okay, but with the school index um, plan process that came in, we were able to look at all areas of the school district, including our community and our supporters. To set those long-term goals, short-term goals, an action plan, and made it happen. We don't hear any more about, oh, I can't bring cupcakes anymore. <laughs> no, we're, we're making better choices. It also changed the whole school culture. Uh, our students are much more active. They take movement breaks during class, stand up, move around. Uh, before school, we have a number of before school, after school programs, and they're everywhere in our community. I look at the Boys and Girls Club tonight and how many kids they have there. I see the community center every day, and I see how many kids are there. Um, we have our um, after school programming in the schools. We take better care of our children now since we've been through this process. Uh, our kids are eating better. We probably had one of, uh, I can't say that because I don't know, but we needed a lot of help. <laughs> and I don't think we're there where we need to be yet, but um, we've made huge, huge changes. Our vending machines have changed. Now I wish we'd just change them over at the community center. So kids are putting in a lot of money and they could be making some better choices. Um, when we give students an opportunity to be active before school, after school, um, in between classes, before tests, in between tests, it helps our kids get that oxygen to the brain and they actually do better. And the research shows it. And so that is the type of culture that we have created now. Uh, children are calmer. And especially too, if you can tie that in with nutrition and exercise, you'll see a huge difference. Uh, the Thanks to SHIP, we provide three days a week, we provide fruits and vegetables, a healthy snack uh, to our K through fifth graders. The first year, I guess, I organized the high school um, walk to school day, and we had everybody going out different doors, and uh, we had it all lined up. I had some my HOSA kids, my health career kids, where uh, one was on crutches, and so we got those kids to help hand out the apples and the water when they got back. And everybody completed the whole route all the way around the school. And you know that there were teachers that continued to do that. Once a week, usually a Wednesday, because you know other days have different advisory duties that they have to take care of. They would say, okay, anybody who wants to meet, come with me. We're going to go out and we're going to walk today. And so, um, and with that walk to school too, I believe that our community leaders realized that the safe route to school infrastructure was needing some work. We had areas where we didn't have sidewalks. In my area right now, we always had kind of an extra lane around the lake, but now you can go under Highway 10, down Highway 10, and um, provides opportunities not just for our children, but for our adults too. Uh, let's see. The, um, SHIP has provided some grants, and I noticed that you had the bicycles up there. I know our community has benefited from that plan where they have bicycles and can include biking in the curriculum. Uh, personally, I applied for and received funds. I noticed after hanging out in the weight room, kids who weren't involved in sports weren't going to go in there. They weren't going to go in the cardio room. And they were being kind of pushed around. Oh, this, is, this one's for wrestling. This one is a trainer's. Um, treadmill, and so, you know, if you're not in sports, you, can, you don't even belong in here. So, I applied for and received the money to buy the treadmill, and I sat there every night after school to make sure that they had that available to them all the time, and the staff also benefited from it, and um, they provided um, time for the staff to work during their prep time, which was nice. The principal kind of, eh, I don't know, you know, is that really okay? But yes, it is. It makes for better workers. <laughs> we all know that. Uh, in the past, 
probably three years, I've had opportunities to see what's going on statewide, uh, nationally, and so um, I am aware that not all communities, not all SHIP program, partnership for health programs, uh, or whatever they call them from state to state, are equal. Many of them are very different, and a lot of the teachers aren't really getting a connection. They're not offering um, them to be involved in working with the students. And that's what I see with our partnership for health. Pat, Jason, Karen, they've been super. I, I can't say enough. I know that there are other areas of the state, and I'll talk to people there, and um, they're not. <laughs> they're people like we do. Um, I was part of the state writing team. We worked on writing uh, state standards and benchmarks. We did that, uh, I think it was a three-year process. And then this summer, we went out and provided trainings. And so um, we were also providing trainings for the fitness gram. The fitness gram is a tool. It's a good tool. It helps kids set goals. It helps their parents realize you know, where they are as far as their healthy weight, cardiovascularly, where are they. Um, and are they improving from year to year? Are they getting healthier? Because it tells them, you're in the healthy range. Needs improvement. Okay? So it's a good feedback item for the family, but it's only a piece. The rest of it is that we need to emphasize that it's a process. And Karen was able to send um, the local schools to those trainings as far as both the um, standards and the um, fitness ground. And it is a process, and it starts out with the fitness gram, just elementary kids, have fun. We want you to have fun, enjoy being active. Middle school, well, maybe you can start setting a few goals. Okay, take a little charge of your own health. And then by high school, we expect them to move to the point where when they graduate, they can take total responsibility for their health care and their fitness. Uh, I've par been part of a national uh, trainer on fitness program as well. And um, going around to different states too, I found the same thing to be true as far as, um, you know, they're all levels of um, involvement, I guess, in making our um, in environment, our community, our culture healthier. And so, um, once again, I want to say thank you. And um, 